Okay guys, so this is the evade for the lead hook. Okay, the lead hook. So, my partner here is gonna take this hand, he's gonna reach for the hook on my face. It's almost the same thing as the jab, okay? So look, my guard is not in high guard. It's gonna be uh, kind of in a lower guard. So now as he reaches his hand for here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come back and then uh, my evade is going to either be, you know, one of two things. As he throws the hook, I go back, I reset, or I hit the counter off of the evade here. Boom, yeah, exactly, then I come back in, okay? So same thing, as the hook comes, I don't wanna take my head so far out unless I'm completely getting out of the situation, okay? So in that particular um, situation, he aims for the hook and I get totally out. So I'm here, boom, okay? Then I reestablish my stance and I'm back in. Second one, now I'm like, okay, I, I see where the hook is. He's not trying to go too deep with it. I'm gonna stay in the pocket a little bit. I'm gonna feed my head up. He's gonna go for the hook. That's it here and I come right back in, whatever it may be. Same thing, he can go for that hook again. I go for the evade and I'm going back in for the shot. Make sure your hips are super close or you're going for the knee, the elbow, whatever it is, okay? The key here is, go slow on the hook, is that when I'm playing in the pocket hook like that, that evade, is that, again, I don't take my head too far out and that I want it almost, as he's throwing that hook, I want it almost, yeah, like right there. Beautiful. So I'm either coming back with the shot or the punch or whatever it may be because if I take myself too far out, as this, and I try to do a counter right away, we're too far away. Here, I might be a little bit too far to take the shot. He might be waiting for the knee after I take the shot. The knee, the knee, yes, exactly. 